Good morning. Welcome back to Twin Oaks Farm Poultry. It's Melissa and we're just returning from our favorite feed store, Beverly Feed and Equipment. And we are moving in the largest flock of Cornish Rock cross meat chickens we've ever started at Twin Oaks Farm Poultry. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Thank you for joining us. Please like and subscribe. Interact with our videos in the comments if you'd like to. We love to interact with you and we're inspired by what you share with us there. So thank you very much for that. It's chick move-in day. And as I said, this is the biggest set of chicks that we have moved in to Twin Oaks Farm Poultry. It will be the biggest flock we've ever started. So just taking a couple minutes, wanted to actually share with you what 300 chicks in the cab of a pickup truck sounds like. So making sure I'm in park there. Gonna shut it down. <laughs> and I'll turn the camera around so you can see how they're sent to us. So that's 300 hatchling chicks that have come from the hatchery. Um, we work with our favorite feed store, Beverly Feed and Equipment in rural Southeast Ohio, USA, to get our chickens. These boxes are interesting because normally they're packed in quads that total 100. So the boxes are usually just slightly bigger than this. So I was, I was expecting, and my friends at the feed store were expecting three boxes of 100 each for our order. And so we actually have four boxes of 75 each. So that totals our 300. There may be a few extra chicks in there up to maybe a dozen extra chicks in there. I think that's just a courtesy maybe that the hatchery does. So <clears throat> we've got them home. We've actually got, I'll take you in the barn real quick before I shut off the camera. We've actually got their pee. So I'll show you what's set up when the chicks get here. And then as soon as I get off the video, we're going to move these chickies in. And I'm sure they'll be in a video soon. So here we go. This is going into our barn. We actually were at our... <clears throat> poultry processor uh, Friday and we returned from there with poultry meat that we have in our freezers now so uh, we've got flowers blooming in there I can tell I've got somebody in here working but I want to show you I just want to show you real quick what is actually down in the pen I heard a drill and that's why I said I think I've got somebody in here working so Drew is in the barn area here actually he's on the other side of our door there but wanted to show you real quick to conclude this video how our pen is actually set up when our chicks arrive so what we're looking at here in front of us uh, we call it a walk-in brooder because we just have these short walls up that we can actually step over and go inside the brooder at any time um, we have this this area is probably about 10 foot by 20, 10 foot by 20 foot in this walk-in brooder space that we're going to put these 300 chicks in. And so when we move them in, we have the heat lamps on. Those are on chains that are just suspended from the ceiling. They're very easy for us to adjust because they're just on S hooks there. So actually those are going to move probably lower to the floor. It's about 60 degrees and um, we want it to be about 95 down where the chicks are for this first week so we'll probably drop those lights just a, a little bit um, maybe maybe half a dozen to 10 lengths down so they're a little closer to the floor but the way those lights are positioned you can see we can pretty much light up the entire floor which is what we want because we don't want any cold spots or dead spots or dark dark spots in that floor we want the birds to have plenty of light so they're stimulated to go to the water go to the feed as it's available and to move around and that helps keep them healthier but what i want you to notice is like i said lights are on so we've got the temperature warm for the birds when they move in we also have the bedding down so we had prepared the floor and see that's what I just stepped over the short wall. So that's why we call it a walk-in brooder because we can just walk in and out. And they're so small, they can't get over that wall. So um, we have the bedding down. We prepared this floor yesterday. We made sure the light bulbs were working. And then we cleaned, disinfected, and filled those waters. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight gallons of water in there. Um, 300 birds moving in, so those waters have to be replenished multiple times daily. But that's that's key to part of our move-in procedure is we only have 
the water in when we initially move the birds in and when we bring them in we uh, take them out of the box one at a time dip their beak in the water and we make sure that they know where their water is and if you make sure that you get water in their system first and they get settled and the stress decreases it helps eliminate a condition that is common in raising chicks that's called pasty bottom or pasty butt and we really want to eliminate that because it's kind of a nuisance condition that just complicates the management and the growth of the bird it's certainly manageable it's easy to take care of but if we prevent it in the first place it's a lot easier to just not have to deal with it at all. So as you saw, we had the waters down. So we'll wait about four hours uh, after we move them in before we will fill their feed trays, which are right here. And we'll feed those with a 22% protein for growing meat birds. It's a crumble that we get at our favorite feed store, Beverly Feed and Equipment. And so like I said, about four hours after these chicks move in, we will fill feeders. Now here's the flock that is currently in production. So there's 200, we lost one yesterday. So there's 219 of these birds now. And so, you know, they're feathered enough. You can see we don't even have their heat lamps on at this point. They were warm enough without them. So we'll be back in that pen here shortly too, but I'll go back and give you one last look at how the chicks are in their boxes before I take them in and, and work with getting them moved in. And so, like I said, we'll get feed down later for them in about four hours, but we do that as a management to help keep them well and prevent that condition. So there you go. That's how chicks come from the hatchery. We get ours from Mount Healthy Hatchery. We work with Beverly Feed and Equipment here in rural Southeast Ohio. Mount Healthy Hatchery is in West uh, southwest Ohio, actually the southwest part of Ohio. So, so 300 chicks in there. Largest flock we started at Twin X Farm Poultry. We're excited. That'll actually be our last flock for the first half of 2023, and they're going to be moving into the barn here directly. Thanks for joining us on YouTube. Please join us again another time back in the barn. How are you?